hard copy. Antarctica podcast and I promise the intro music is going to turn down real quick there it is <laughs> I kind of miss the guitar intro sometimes you know I kind of do too but then sometimes I never well, I, I kind of don't miss struggling to figure out what we're going to play me neither <laughs> yeah that always took another hour if you guys uh, haven't noticed it's Johnny Hool no harms in the hey. house Noah's back it's been a while since Noah's got on one long time but, yeah, you know, that's why I like the other intro, too, is because I can just throw it in there. And right. Like, and you just, yeah. Don't have to noodle around on a guitar and then feel yeah. dumb if I we can all, it. We can all still be flipping each other off. Nobody worried <laughs> about the other, you yep. know, who's got to come up with something. No pressure. Gets me all pumped like it's fight music. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I think all our levels are pretty good, don't you? Uh, once, yeah. it, once again, I, it depends on so your once again, definition. and we talk about this on all the podcasts. Once again, I'm coming back in after a weekend of DJing, and so the settings on my mics and everywhere else that go into my mixer are way different than what they are on the podcast. <laughs> so when you're DJing through my speakers, it's yeah. Anyway, a little different, a lot different. There's, there's room. Yeah, yeah. But well, there's effects a lot of times. You know, if you're saying something, then whatnot. Probably one of the big differences is that your DJ gigs are probably. Way more productive and funner than this. Oh, and fuck that. Dude. Depends. No, definitely not more fun. Yeah, I was just going to say productive. There's yeah. not much more fun, fun. than doing oh, the podcast. No. Jesus, this is the first <laughs> time I've done a podcast with you two or what? Yeah, I know. We caught the sarcasm, but still. Okay. Still had to get after you. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Had to be serious Damn, for a minute. I thought I was getting my eyes poked out. Close. <laughs> so, John, what have you been up to? Well, i tell you what I've been up to. I've been... Uh, <laughs> I feel like this is huh. going to be a, a de- damn thing. But, yeah, no, as a matter of fact, the exact opposite of not a damn thing. I've been fighting the man. I had a, uh, I had a pretty good conversation man. today with, uh, well, actually, a lady. A woman. Well, a female. A female as, can be as the man. You may yeah, have a it. female can be female the man. Can be the, man. The, government the government in the form <laughs> of a lady who Shit. doesn't understand. John's going to get, like... His car is going to run into another yeah. bridge. Maybe. Hey, do, do you remember? <laughs> That's how they, they off a lot of people. See you Did guys you? next week. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. But <laughs> John actually Traffic ran into a bridge collision. once. Like, was there somebody uh, cut you off, John? Yeah. Ran you into the, that? They cut me off. I no, think that I was, was, was I, that before the podcast? It was, wasn't it? I was it? speaking my mind, and oh, yeah. all of a sudden, I was ran off a bridge. Yep. All of a sudden, he was in the air, and he was like, oh, shit. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Well, no, nobody will ever know. I'd imagine that's what I would probably say. They nobody hit you with that know. mind eraser off of Men in Black. That's what they say, too. <laughs> All I remember was waking up and they said, you have to go back to sleep, son. Said, uh, really? Did okay. you say, ouch? I said, and then what, I'm just supposed to trust you? And the guy said, yes. He said, I'm... I'm very well educated. I'm really good at what I do. I'm the best at what I do in this town. You need to go to sleep, son. You need to go to sleep, son. And I was like, all right, well, give me a second. Let me text my... That's where you went wrong. No. No, he, I'm just kidding. He didn't <laughs> let me do it. I know, I know. I know where we're going Even the this, doctor you know? was smart enough to grab your phone. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sir. Just you're a out of it. Yeah, just if he'd have grabbed it from me. Save me from a whole <laughs> lot of... This whole what I'm talking about, the man, and what I just had to deal with today. That's because some pieces of shit are just pure pieces of shit. Shit is shit, mean to say. None you know, of it tastes good. I don't, I don't, I'm sure I won't leave it at that, but I'll leave it at that for now. <laughs> As that's a start. That's a so st- we, we've left all of our listeners going, what in the... <laughs> right. How, a- how about you, know? What have you been up to? Been driving the old UPS truck around. Not but, much uh, more than how, that. Playing some music. Are you geared up for holidays? Do you notice people holiday shopping yet? Any like? Oh, are you kidding me? I don't think the holiday ever ends. Really? Like, no. It's back to school. 
Yeah. Well, now with Amazon, you guys got to be way busier. Oh man. How many how many UPS drivers were there when there was no Amazon? Do you know that? Hey, say uh, that twice real fast. Three? How many Amazon drivers were there when there was no Amazon, Amazon drivers? Because three? eBay's been around for a long time, I guess and that's I think true. eBay kept them pretty busy once that came around. But Amazon is, I bet, eighty percent of the shit every day. Yeah, but what about the real stuff? I it's wish just, I was just the sh- defecation. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I uh, the shit. <laughs> I wish I was flagging you down every day, making you send shit out of here, so I knew I was making money that shit, way. Dude. You, stuff? Can, you can start We're delivering. Show. Yeah, no shit, huh? No, I'm talking like <laughs> he dork, John. <laughs> Okay, apparently we got to stop staying, saying shit tonight or we won't get much talked about. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Bathroom humor. Oh, uh, it's a all terrible night. I know. Long. It'll be a stain all over the broadcast. Jeez. <laughs> John waited for this moment to get out of radio and that he could say all the poop jokes he's right? always been wanting to say for the last 30 years. Didn't I say that no <laughs> toilet humor? <laughs> that was That's your what she rule, said. too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my God, John! Oh, okay. you... <laughs> I can't believe it. Dog days of summer. Yeah, so far it's been hotter than the hubs of hell. Yeah, it's definitely been warm. What did I see the other day? I think Saturday was 110 degrees, according to my phone. It in, was in Malta. Warm. Friday, <laughs> Thursday, and Friday were absolute the, hell. The bank said truck. 110, and like my phone, I think said 117. Is what it, so I mean it, you can go by the bank probably, but and that was at like six thirty at night. Yeah. That was right when I was dude, starting to DJ. I'd it say, got so hot in the cab of that UPS truck, my phone shut off. I like it it overheated. overheated. Yeah, I, this is the, so I DJed at the Stockman and I was right on the stage. And it's the only time I've ever been in like that kind of direct heat, because that's where the, the sun was just the last thing coming over the buildings, you know, drilling me on the stage. And same with my computer. It I thought for sure it was completely Was cooked. there a big enough crowd to be on the stage? Is there you ever? You don't have to answer that. No, I mean, not. no offense to the people There's that I'm DJing for, because it was fun. There, there but, is, but, but is, it's yeah, not the right setting. Know, like this, well, and no offense, no offense to anybody, and I've said this stage. before. Yeah, you do. you got to have, like, you got to have 200 people out there to make it not too big of a space between you and the crowd from when they start drinking to when you try to drag them onto the dance floor. Right, right. And don't get me wrong. You always get them dancing by the end of the night, but it's... If Still, I'm uh, if tough. I'm under the awning where I'm right next to everybody, dude, they're jamming right away. Like first oh, yeah. couple songs. If Travis partying. is under the awning, should have done that at my wedding. If Travis is under the awning, my wedding was a lot of fun. Everyone, you had enough people who almost. The, who uh, Jesse and Lenny's was under the awning. Yep, and that was a fun. That one, one jammed. That was a fun one. I did that chamber thing that you and I did. That, that one jammed. That was, was under fun. the awning too. Those are the only two recently that I've did under the awning. Unless you're under the awning, everyone's yawning. Well, shit, you get under there and it's loud enough. People almost. Well, yeah, right, yeah we have to. Uh, it, music. You don't need to have the. It's the closeness. People don't yeah. want to be thirty yards out in front of everybody, being the first person to dance. Yeah, right. Like when we're this close, like nobody cares if I fucking yeah. you bust got a, a groove. You got a big band or somebody there that draws a giant crowd. I mean, you got to draw a third of the people of Malta to make that oh, yeah. stage worthwhile. Just because Noah has 72,000 relatives, that was wrong. almost as big enough for that yeah, one. Yeah, no shit. Like, Don't get me wrong. Well it's an awesome stage, and it's a great venue. But where did we end up by 2 in the morning? We under were the, underneath the awning. Under the playing, playing, guitar, playing acoustic yeah. guitars under the awning. Oh, that was a fun night, dude. It was. I've never seen that many people just grab a guitar and want to play. Me neither. That was all. Everybody was like, I can do it. Let me try. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, really? All right. Yeah. yeah, I had no clue with a few of those guys. There was like 40 people out there. So yeah, I saw people two. play guitar that I had no yeah, idea me too. even play guitar. Even too. sing. Yeah. Yep. I went, huh. Really? Okay. Yep. That was fun. That was a good one. Shit, we I even like had that. F- we even had the uh, Max from France. He was singing in yep. French that night. Yeah. <laughs> Playing flamenco <laughs> guitar. There, that what was is cool. that? The old, there's a hole in the wall where the... What does that Sing go? more of it. There, there's a place in <laughs> France where the naked ladies dance. There's a hole in the wall where the boys can see it. Yeah, yeah, see, it's not just me. That I just was wanted weird. John. John, God damn it. We, Why did you make uh-huh, me do that? You uh-huh, guys know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You guys need to watch Super Troopers too. I haven't seen it yet, it's so, so I'll watch funny. it. I'll, I'll watch Whoever it. is saying that it's it good. wasn't as good as the first one, I mean, they're probably right. It's hard to beat that. But it's hilarious, and if they're saying it isn't good, then they probably didn't like the first one. They just are saying they did. They didn't like the first one. 
they don't get the humor. Good enough. The second one was hilarious. Yeah, uh, I, I, I gotta see it. Watching. I gotta see it. Super I'm Troopers gonna, is funny. I was I, just waiting for a good review like that. I was, I hate when I like when it's a movie you gotta buy. You know, still like, or you pay to rent it. Like, since I have Netflix and everything else, you know, right. I almost hate to shovel out four bucks to see something and then be dis- be like, God yeah. damn it, it wasn't near as good. You don't buy two energy thought, drinks with that. Yep. I, <laughs> yeah. I thought four last week. I thought uh, wasn't <laughs> wasn't uh, which reminds me of this. I thought the Dukes of Hazard with Johnny Knoxville was funny. Didn't, yeah, it was pretty didn't funny. I thought that was funny. Of, wasn't Farva the guy that was wearing the... Yep. Yeah. The... Yeah, what's that actor's name? I don't even know. Um, God, no, I know. know. Kevin He's, Heffernan. Yeah. He was the one that was wearing the armadillo hat. Yeah. Right? Huh. Uh, Correct. The Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, I don't know his name, but yeah, sure. Okay, he was That's the him. one who was... Yeah. yeah, the one with the funny hat. Yeah, you're right. I thought that was a hilarious movie. I don't I like so too. it. Got Johnny terrible. Knoxville. It got terrible reviews, but I thought it was funny. You know as what shit. other movie he did that was hilarious? That nobody, The Ringer. The Ringer. Yeah, that's that another show good one. Was Dude, funny. That was so politically incorrect. Oh yeah, but, it, but, but how funny is most that? funny movies but, are? They were, or I mean, you know, now what? It's so sad that you, you can't put your name behind that's anything like the, anymore. Yeah, that's and it's the art. modern that's day the, blazing it's saddles. It's art, and like, I understand you're not supposed to offend anybody and and whatnot, but. That's oh, what makes shit. a lot of things. That's what honestly makes a person giggle on the inside. I'm not saying you gotta have like the dirtiest, darkest humor ever, but like it's the shit that you go. The little oh. things, like, like the mm-hmm. you yeah. know. If it doesn't make you cringe, it ain't worth. But that to me, and that's art. Like that's well, what I mean. art is, is expressing yourself. So yeah, it's a form of speech. So you, exactly. Yeah. Or putting. I mean, there's a lot of things that are art. You know, I mean, movies to podcast to you know that's art it's you putting something out in the universe for other people to judge that's art Mm -hmm. but yeah anything that anyone else can judge yeah basically i mean you're you something you created and then you give it to like james franco said it best and this is the end i mean what did he say about the art remember when the guy he's like oh no i don't like art and he's like oh you don't like art really remember you like subway sandwiches (laughs) someone made that for you that's art that's awesome (laughs) they do say they're sandwich artists Oh, he gets pretty dirty in that part. It's awesome. I dude, I don't How about remember this? all that show. He's like, your dad's is the paintbrush and your mom's vagina is the canvas. Boom, your art. <laughs> I uh, I loved that movie. It was funnier than hell. This is the end. Yeah, oh, that's one of my all time favorites. Yep. Jonah Hill when he's is that is that one by the dude that touched everybody? Recently? Weinstein. Yeah, yeah. Harvey? is that one of his? Mm. I don't, I don't know. Harvey Weinstein, he didn't touch everybody. It was just a bunch just of women like, that he... Uh, like, I don't women. think just so. Like Allegedly, whatever. Just like 87 women. Allegedly, are, <laughs> yeah. Just like 87. I, just a few. And 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 I think uh, 87 women that weren't him, and then I think he also touched himself in front of 87 other women that weren't him as well. <laughs> that might be this, it. This That's where it gets weird is when you just start touching yourself and yeah. you're not allowed to. That's like 100 and... 260 some touches. <laughs> John's full of shit tonight, everybody. He doesn't oh, know how many exact touches. I think touches. my math is bad. <laughs> <laughs> you said 187, and, or no, 87 and 87, right? Shit, John, you're I don't know. We'll spot have, on. Now we're going to have to look back at it. And... But the art thing, how about Pearl Jam catching all the shit? For, how about their art? I, I think their they art's bad. pretty heavy duty. I think it's, I mean, I get. I don't know. I think their art's badass. Well, it I is. I think people should take a cartoon for a car- goddamn tune. Yeah, I, I do agree there. That that's somebody's... That's one individual who's not even... Like, so what if he made it famous? He, to me, and I don't get me wrong, I like to see a band just rock out, you know, and do their thing. But, Without having to... Yeah, yeah. I, do, I do enjoy that, but I can't take that away from them because that's their art. They're the ones that created yeah. that whole show. And, and if they're they one of the most it, influential rock well, bands. If, if in they wanted to create history, it so that yeah. they had a stepping stone, then that's what they created in their life. That's what they've mm-hmm. done with their life. And I think more well, power to them. What's the difference of a president or a presidential candidate being able to get up just because they got to be 100% prim and proper the whole way through? Yeah. It doesn't mean that they don't dislike the other does person it, or want does that you know, mean? Does that mean, yeah, just because... Th- uh, I believe I would like to see President Trump instead of Twitter. I'd like to see him make cartoons. How many people do you see walk around or even come into a bar that have a naked lady tattoo? 
and oh. they walk in front of children every day. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, that's... They should be on a list. We should throw those people in jail. <laughs> 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 right? Or wait. Wrong. Wait Wrong. a minute. Wait, oh. I, let me check and make sure my zipper's up. Is a little boy you remember looking like, oh, that guy's... Oh, yeah. Those Hell are yeah. Boobs. Those, are, those awesome. are boobs. <laughs> what? Uh, or what about the truckers with the naked ladies on the... Yeah. Yeah. You know, the mud flaps. I mean, mm-hmm. there's... There's a lot of offensive things. I love things. those. There's, it depends on yeah your I definition like, of offensive. I feel if like our so, nation's going to do a lot better. People can drive we... around with giant sets of balls hanging off their freaking yeah. goddamn their pickup truck, pickup truck yeah. balls. So like, yeah. like come on, yeah. just a set of testicles. Yeah. Big old nutsack, <laughs> swinging around. Like, <laughs> I think <laughs> grandma's that's behind okay. You. Like yeah. all right. I think I think uh, that's awesome. When my four year old daughter's like, Dad, what are those? I'm like. It's a set of balls, daughter. <laughs> and for one, and like I told, so I've had a few people come to me because they know that, it's like, nice you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of Pearl Jam, and I, I like what uh, I, I love l- Pearl like Jam. what Jeff does for yeah. all of us. Hell yeah. And I say, dude, so what if I say, you're offended by that. Well, for one, I don't have to have the same political the beliefs of him. Up. And whether I do or don't, or, you know, but like, I don't I have just to, think you can be my friend, and you don't have to believe in the same right. goddamn politician as I do. Right. And if you want to draw a... a, a, a Little kiddish picture. If I, hey, that, if I want to, if I want to draw a set of balls on your forehead when you pass out tonight, I will do it. By and it will be grade, fine. By fifth grade, what little kid wasn't drawing like little guns or knives or a sword or something? You know, just yeah. doodling that kind that of. That doesn't shit. mean I think it's retarded. I mean, Stupid. they know they know what they were doing. Pardon and you know what they were doing? That. They got everybody in the damn country talking about it. Oh yeah, yeah. and that was their perfect. goal. That's so now perfect. you're going to get more people out yeah. to vote, and that's yeah. their whole goal they is to get people out it. to vote. Hey, they got us talking about it, and guess what? I listened to I it mean, on a radio show voted, from Missoula this morning too. I would have too. voted regardless. Me but too. But it's a lot of ridiculous people how much attention it. Yeah, it's silly. Like it's, I, I think it's great. Like you I said, can't that believe they're getting that message out there. If that's what their goal was, you know. To, but if I they, can't believe there's that many sensitive people. That's out what I. There. Yeah, that's but, what I'm trying to say. Is like there. How how can it be? America is that soft. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. And during campaign runs, and you wonder why we're there's getting commercials our with them saying worse things about what that. Right, He's that drawing. Absolutely, said. yeah. There's guys Dude. straight out coming out and blatantly saying the most ridiculous things. It's almost just like the campaign nowadays. Yeah. Like the there, most outrageous see, things yep, you see. You see in, one guy say one yeah. thing and the other guy says the exact opposite. One did of you, them is obviously did you see lying. This guy spent forty eight billion dollars. But on one cartoon can night. set off the world on fire. Yeah. Did you see that they censored Alex Jones? No, I didn't. I, I want to say I. I'm not sure exactly what all they did, but I think they may have taken down his Instagram. I, I'll look while I do this, but because oh, yeah. of how full of shit he is. I think, I think, I th- yeah, I think I do know. And anyway, do you know who Alex Jones is? He's the guy from InfoWars. Oh, now the first thing, Fox News, Alex Jones claims conspiracy after FCC shutdown. <laughs> well, no shit. But he is a little bit out there, in my opinion. He's a little like, bit nutty. nutty. There are some things turns. that he's, there's some things that he tipped off right away, like that were certain things. But like the whole... Alien reptiles from space type of thing that he gets into. Justin is Bieber, where you go, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's an alien reptile. Oh, from space. He is. Bieber's one. Apparently, he's scared about three hundred passengers hey. in a subway. I one tell day. you what, really, they all claimed that. To he, all you Bieber haters, you're all jealous motherfuckers because he the is guy more talented. Is, than, like I hate to give it to him, but he is a talented fucking individual. I'd kick his ass. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't. Uh, no, <laughs> I bet you wouldn't no. get past his first three sets of goddamn security. Oh yeah, I would. Easy. I Easy dive Conor right McGregor. Through, I dive right through the legs. Yeah, I'm going to go McGregor. throw a fucking... Uh, I'm a small guy. They wouldn't even notice. <laughs> they would. Then I'd be right up in front of I'd do a, Yeah, I'd, I'd, do like, a, I'd do a crap And then he'd go... Bitch. No, I'd go, shit, he's built. <laughs> yeah. Be like, wink, wink, bring Just him in. you're built don't yeah. mean you know what to do. I challenge you to a Noah, guitar off. Noah would get right in because he's cute. <laughs> mm-hmm. To the front of the line, Noah. That's my secret power, John. <laughs> Shut up. You said you wouldn't tell him. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so now that like, and I'm not really sure how this old Alex Jones back. thing went. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's where it got off. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how the whole censorship shit went down. And he has been like censorship. He's been shit. full. Of, I mean, I don't. Do I wouldn't say 100 percent full of shit, but there's some things he says that are way. I was thinking about you that. guys are yeah. both How do you say? Awesome. censure. Try censure. to say that again without fucking it what? up. Censure. What did I say? Yeah. Censorship shit. It's not censure. Super censorship. It's, isn't it? When See, you're censure. I knew censorship. you could okay. do it. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a difference between censured 
and send shirt. I'm send just here blowing mine, folks. On. No way. They're, <laughs> it's true. Start it's true. That. It's true. It's true. If you're John, I hear your dog outside. I think there's two. Different. Did you hear that in your mic, John? I, I think your dog's making a weird noise outside. I think he went. No, I'm serious. John, you can't go on the radio. <laughs> I swear I heard something. I did hear that. It almost sounded like he was whining. Yep. He's usually scratching on the door. Dad, there's a monster out here. He's missing John. See, told you. There he is. Oh, is Sprout still out there? The dude. The dude has arrived. What's up, dude? John's dog's named the dude. And he is getting to be a cooler and cooler dog by the minute. He's still young. He's only, uh, what, what is he? He, do, he turns a year in September. September 16th. So he's still got a lot of puppy in him, but he's getting to be a better and better dog every day. And pretty he's goddamn gonna be, good dog. He's Jeffrey pretty Lebowski, cool he, a.k.a. the dude. He's going to be a cool dog soon. And he's, uh, Not that he isn't already. He's, but like, he's pretty smart. He'll do just about anything I ask him to do other than the peanut butter tricks. Yeah, I don't. He's think, smart enough. I don't to think the last that. dog on earth would do that. <laughs> no you, wonder why John needs counseling, right? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even started with my mental health. Jeez, Louise. Let's not. Yeah. Start on that. How about? Hey, dude, can you talk to? <laughs> so us? everybody, this is John's art, by the way. This yeah, please don't shit art. on it too bad. Yeah, this is my art, and he's good at it. <laughs> it's well, funny. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. There's more times. Th- there's a lot of times I laugh during the podcast, and maybe I'm the only one because it's just funny things to me, but. On the playback, sometimes I laugh even harder. There's, there's a lot I did of things, during the actual podcast. There's a lot of things that we don't catch halfway through. The <laughs> art. Mm-hmm. That well, are especially when you're doing some, a three-way like this. There's <laughs> some parts <laughs> of the art that we don't realize. So you're saying there's but, a chance. <laughs> <laughs> there's, but there's sometimes, like, in a lot of those ones when Caleb would be on, because he was sitting so far back. Yeah. We'd all be talking, and you'd hear Caleb mumble something, and it would be one of the funniest things you'd ever heard. And he didn't even God, like... I know that kid makes <laughs> me laugh. I never thought my little brother would make me laugh like he does, but holy shit, he he's is funny. A funny fart. I miss holy that little crap, guy. He's funny. Me too. He thinks he's gonna be able to come back here fairly soon. So really? That'll be nice. Come back for good or just come back for no, fun? Just, the dude's, the dude's trying out one of Jeff Heyman's skateboards right now. Don't eat the shit, dude. He ain't eating it. All right. He just he was trying it out. He was that's rolling not, it that's, around. That skateboard's one that uh, Matt gave me. I traded him the other day for it. It was a pretty good deal. I traded him some wheels for okay, two way, trucks and a deck. Way to ruin that segment. Jeff Amitt's skateboard? <laughs> Here, oh. I, was, I was going with the art segment. Oh. The art? Yeah. This is art, John. I know. My dog skateboarding would be art, too. I can teach you how to teach him. There's actually a method you know to what? get dogs doing it. it. If there's a method that can teach dogs how to do that. There is. A method or a method? A method. Oh. Not I'm a method. Sure I thought you said a there's a method that, that, that could that. teach <laughs> my dog how to do it. And I was like, no, man. I bet I nine feel, bucks an hour. I, I bet he'll sell my dog. I was just going to say, I bet I'll, if you paid him enough, he would get it done in yeah. a hurry. And nine he'll sell bucks. my dog in the dream Sell time. my dog. <laughs> <laughs> just run off with your dog. <laughs> well, you wouldn't just leave your dog with a method, would you, John? Come Not on purpose. Dog would leave you because it's got better drugs. Yeah, no shit, right? Jeez. That's terrible. I know. My poor guy. Anyway. Anyway. So it was 100 degrees at Glacier National Park the other day. First time in the history of keeping records. I believe John. When he says a statement like that, he usually watches the daily news more than me. I, uh, I, I don't watch the daily news. Do you guys? Other than like I see it, social. I see it for a little bit. I see it for a couple minutes in the morning while I'm Somehow, getting myself like, ready for the day. Yeah, if I fall asleep with the TV on, a lot of nights I manage to go to the local news station and wake up in the morning. I don't, I don't sit there. And, TV I don't sit there and watch it, but like, yeah, it's on. Yeah, and then you, you know hear, I mean, you I get bit, bits and pieces. I have dreams about it. The other day, I had a dream that uh, what was it? I I had a dream that I was in the middle of the. Well, the New York Stock Exchange. Because um, <laughs> it was ha- on TV? And I happened to be there. And I'm going, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, I, I, have, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I was sure there. And it, it seemed like I was, a, I was a big deal. And there was something I was supposed to be doing that I wasn't doing. Mm-hmm. Should have just started yelling, bye. Yeah. Isn't that terrible hey, when hey, you're hey, hey. having a dream? Uh, but and you're part actually, of the news. Yeah. Something's happening like uh, on TV or something like yep, that. Yep. The, or uh, like when you're pretty drunk you know and when no anything home about you, that you think that you're pissing in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you wake up and you're and like oh out, shit 
Turns Mr. out to be in your nap. One boots. night, fuck, I was dreaming that I was pissing in the toilet, and Kelsey was just ragging on me, like, getting after me. Like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what? I'm taking a pee. And then that, right about that time, I came to and seen I was pissing right in the living room. I was like, oh, god damn it. Uh, yeah, I've, Those dude, are I've, the worst. I've mystery peed before. I mystery peed in my work boot one time. Woke up and found, the out the, found out the next morning. And then one other time, I pulled out a drawer and pissed right in the drawer. Oh, man. Just like I was in my bedroom, went in, like, do, do, walked right up to it and started peeing. Same way. That's well, the, the one time, my boot, I didn't get woke up in the middle the pissing in the drawer. I did get woke up in the middle and went, yeah. oh, shit. Whoops. Yeah. I just only other, I've only done it twice. I just but that's drunk. That's being yeah. drunk. I just accidentally smacked my dog in the, in the forehead a little harder than I planned on doing it. And then I felt Shit, bad, so I said I was sorry. It's too and late, And now he's man. doing you exactly just... what I just smacked him in the forehead for. You just told him not to. <laughs> How do you, you can't beat him again, or you're going to have people come and take him from you. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that in America anymore, man. I, speaking of beating it, I come in first and third in a jack-off contest. <laughs> Jesus. Of course you do. <laughs> we, we, you just did, we were talking your whole about... life at getting good at that, huh? So we did a podcast last Callus week. Callus is not on my hands. With Matt Van Winkle and Johnny and I. And I still haven't got all the way to the end of it, but I debate whether it's too dirty that I don't want to put it out. It's pretty god dang crude. It's... It is, because we were drinking pretty heavily. and But god there are some super cool. funny moments it, in it. It might be one of those where you, you have to subscribe to it to get it, because it, I don't think we should just put it out there. It, it's no, yeah. certainly not one that is for the faint of heart. Maybe no, put not at two all. warning signs on it. <laughs> <laughs> X, X. Just put a face of, like, Andrew Dice Clay or something. You, you know go. it's going to be dirty. That's <laughs> As In the, in the like famous Jeffrey words Dahmer of Matt, I will say this. In the famous words of Matt, we talk about butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more than once in it. I don't... <laughs> he, it, we just thought we'd got about partway through it, and then all of a sudden he'd go off the thing and... Yeah. Hey, you guys want to hear something sweet? Here's why I like Jeff Amit. He just fucking sent me a message right while we're sitting here. I said, I was talking about his new skate wheels that I showed you. I said our Malta crew would probably buy a few sets of 55s if you're selling. Also, I'd be in the boat for some 62 big dogs. He says, Fast Moto X, I'll give you a few sets. What a bad You know, what, a, what an asshole. Yeah. That's why I like the guy. God dang it. Yeah, he's a good guy. You know, Dude, I skate wheels are like it. 50 bucks a pair. I couldn't a believe it when I met him. Like, if Stud, you didn't he? know who Jeff Amit was, you'd never know. He, he still, like, no, he was, yeah. he still the, hasn't met in me. In the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, does all this awesome shit for people. And, how many bands, here's my like, grade on how big they are. How many bands can come awesome, to Montana dude. and have 25,000 fans go to a concert? Right. Rock in the Rivers doesn't even get that many fans. And that has 17 bands over the weekend? Yeah. Jeff Amon still hasn't met me, so. Lucky him. It's because you're not so cool, John. <laughs> no. you got to learn to skateboard. We got you started. I know. Maybe you'd next think, year. You'd think, John, you'd think Jeff Amon would have met John Denver by now. Maybe next year. I doubt it. I, so he's, you don't he's even know how to skateboard. All, all you'd have to do is just oh, come he's, out He's of around too many people. I, 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 to I'm not skateboard. that big publicity guy yeah, you guys right. are the guys you guys are the show ponies you're the only guy show i've pony. heard of that says that but they can go to rock in the rivers and be an absolute it, rock star full-on rock star yeah that's different mr i can't do it that's I different i can't be around people that's different oh it, it can't just be 20 people but if it's fifteen thousand, he's all right <laughs> exactly he was that meant to be sense. a rock star john uh, what sense. are you gonna do about that i'll tell you what i'm gonna do about that <laughs> I'm going to make sure my dog is my therapy companion for oh, life. Oh boy. <laughs> well, he's doing good things for you, I think. Uh, I think he's got a good 10 years left in him. Probably. Shit, if you take care of him and feed him every night, he should live just fine. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> in that case, John, I'll take a beer. I'll throw that. Hey, I'll fellas, that I was just wondering if you want to come over to the house leader and please some sorry. <laughs> Hey, how about, do you, okay, here's, I mean, on, the, too, on that whole racist topic that we were talking earlier, or the offending people. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you think that accents should offend the people? Yes, it should. Just, you know what, when I lived in Colorado, they, they, well, I they understand. thought I was Canadian. 
Yeah, when I went to Arizona, my I, it's not a big difference, but they could tell that I was not so, from there. So is it yeah. racist to think somebody has a southern accent? Yeah, you fucking racist bastard. You right? Just I mean, that. well, the southern versus the... I mean, it's the... No, it's not racist. Of course That's it's ridiculous. not. I, of course but it's not. But there are plenty of people that plenty think people that, people seeing sure. that now. That's and how America is, dude. It's just... It's a, sad. I mean, I get it. I don't... So if I'm really... Don't hurt just, my feelings. I don't have very many. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> shit, cow. right? What, what are we done to our last I two agree. or three? I agree. I agree. Because I, I've just, I guess the problem sensitive. for me, problem for me is I am so not sensitive. I'm so, I'm uh, pretty I'm sensitive. So, I'm guy, so but shit's getting thick skinned. Dude. That so, like, so I like the tip of my pecker after being single for so long. Jesus, <laughs> John. <laughs> I'm a pretty sensitive dude, but it's unbelievable. Johnny's not sensitive. He's a fucking asshole. That's <laughs> for those of you that have never met him. Hey, so this is like the Facebook. This would be perfect <laughs> intro into that. Oh yeah. Geez. So old guys, like, and Johnny is kind of an old guy. He's a grandpa. I am. I am. So like, if you notice that on social media, and not really singling anybody out, but like the older generation that believes things that, that like were they grew up in a different time where yeah, race was a whole different thing. Like Facebook them. wasn't even around. Facebook, we're talking. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like back when you had to either go to the Facebook, library or ask no your MySpace, mom. nothing like that. Way before that, we're talking. Well, I'm talking MySpace. like I'm talking, and Johnny's on the edge of it. So we're like, I don't know where we'd cap it. Forty, I th- forty. I don't I'm gonna say I'm gonna say late forties into your. If you graduated high school Mid without a computer, 60s, maybe. You know, I don't believe in anything from the Dewey Decimal System to <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> don't believe in I, anything. I think, I think it's almost like completely changed people in ways for better and for worse. But Oh, I'm, sure. I'm trying to talk about the worst right now. Like, well, it, you some know people say things that they don't know yeah. are offensive. They think that, right. that's well, just Well, weird. not only that, but like you see someone put something on Facebook, let's say, and you read it and you're like... What the hell? Right? Why would you Why write would you? that? Yeah, or, and then you see who it is, and you're like, "What? You didn't but think they, a person would be like that?" And you guarantee, they might not have, they thirty might years not, ago, they would have never said something right. like that. But, but you know now, what? Yeah, that's they might not have meant it in the context as you read it. That's Whatever, the problem. That that, yeah, that, that is, is the problem with Facebook. The problem, is that like, you can't hear the inflection in their voice. Oh man! So yeah, like, right. you can tell if I'm bullshitting you, and I'll be like, yeah. hey, you know, mm-hmm. right? And right, and like people who. Like to gossip, like like I said, just you it are the father. Whole yeah. new level, I mean, or of, like shit. Like, people who like to gossip can get online now and gossip about shit they wouldn't gossip yeah. about to Shouldn't somebody's face, and, yeah. and, you know, and it beats and it beats and it beats tomorrow's front page news terrible. because nobody's in front of their face yeah. saying it. Like they can write they something can write, down, they can type whatever they want. And they're yeah. in the corner yeah. of their, there's they can, tons they can of say Facebook shit. That's true. At least I hate it. I get on there and I use it. At least in newspapers, they it's have usually to, just they to have see to be, funny shit. They have to be I, factual. I really the know. newspapers, and you know, it's got its perks. Uh, they for they sure, have right. to they have to have some sort of credibility. Whereas on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever, Nothing you ha- don't have to have any credibility mm-hmm. whatsoever. There's, you can say anything you want, and spread any rumor about any person you want, right. whether it's true or not. Yeah, you're right. Bullshit. John's it, pregnant. It, it's <laughs> oh, it's got its not again. for sure, but. <laughs> I just don't like. So I like it for networking and, with and, the cool people that yeah, I've never. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. I get it. In I what, get it. In like what we were just talking about, I don't like it. I don't like for I, that reason. I didn't like. I I had it for a couple of months. I I didn't like opening my Facebook page in the morning and seeing my ex wife. Bam! Right off. Then the don't bu- friend her, dummy. Well, yeah. then, I'm not friends see, with mine on there. Then someone should have probably. I don't told have a wife, but yeah, <laughs> someone should have told me the rules. But yeah, right. Facebook what? rules. What you can just no, you I, can pick who you want. I just I use it yeah. really to just watch funny videos. Of me shit. too. So funny That's and entertainment. Yeah, for entertainment purposes, it is a lot of the times like almost the town news now. Because yeah. it, I if, can honestly if there's a car crash, I've, somebody says yeah, something on it. I can right honestly away. say you know, I've never partook in. Somebody's comment that involved drama. I've I will never say, done it. I've sat and read a few, but I've never got into one of them. You know what? I will say what it's good for. I try not to for the most part. I don't is, know. I don't uh, know if I have or haven't. There's a lot I, of times I'll shut people down and be like, "Oh yeah, I mean, if you got done. some knowledge, drop like, shut it. up." I've I've never even. I've done had that. one of my buddies call me uh, late at night one time, not one time, several times, and say, "Hey, there's a fire right out here. Can you come help me?" Yeah, and bang! Guess what? I jumped up and I 
I was out there as quick as I could. And it was all because of social media. Yeah. But at oh, the same thank time... Thank God for Facebook. Save the farm back that's in 02. Right. <laughs> but at the same time, but at the same time, that same neighbor had chlamydia. I don't think Facebook or, was out. And shot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know? Jesus Christ. See? It, there's just as much bullshit as there is truth. That's all because of Facebook. People. That's true. It's true. Does your, uh, Johnny, does your counselor know that you're on a podcast? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Any of them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think we're going to play an excerpt from my uh, oh from boy. my counseling session today at some point. I think, hey, as a matter of fact, that's a good time for us to... Uh, Let's take a break. Take a break. And we'll be back with the rest <laughs> of what, what we're just talking about. We'll let you You can't in. say that copyrighted phrase that Paul Harvey would have said back in the day. I would I never. used to like Paul Harvey's show. Oh. I don't care. Like, I've been on the radio. That guy dropped knowledge. Oh, you know? dude. He was... He was uh, How he do you was, feel about uh, him? I, you worked I, there long enough that it... Yeah, he was he was a cornerstone of of my youth. He was... Uh, Me too. My parents or my, my grandma and my mom always listened to him. Yeah, Paul Harvey, I... I missed the chance one time he was in Billings when I worked in Billings, and he was there giving a speech or an, a lecture, and I missed it. I missed it by, like, I think I, I got off work, and I missed it by, like, an hour and a half. I didn't have the of time course to you did. make it to it <laughs> or whatever. All right, or my let's, wife let's pause this me. thing. I, yeah, Paul Harvey was a badass. Hell yeah. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he was a, he was a champion. I always thought he was the oatmeal guy. Was he? No, <laughs> no. But I, I always thought I always listened to Paul Harvey and look at the oatmeal guy. No, yeah. All right, I'm gonna pause this thing. Uh, Montartica.com. Hey, everybody, we're back. <laughs> Had a Shh. couple giggles. We both tried to play back guitar, or well, I tried to play guitar over the th- the break, and I couldn't play guitar for shit tonight. So. Yeah, you That's really you guys, suck tonight, It was dude. terrible tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's because you guys didn't let me touch my own I, guitar. That's what it is, probably. No, that's. Yeah. Shit, it was hanging when I came in here, so... What about my guitar? You had plenty of fucking... Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's fun. I've been Ba-dum. jamming a bunch on my... most. I, the guitar I play the most now is that little Martin that I got because it, it sits next to the couch. So I'm yeah. sitting on the couch, yeah, or in the morning I always sweet. grab it and just... I, I jam. That. I played that earlier I like today. That one. That's a pretty fun guitar. Yeah. You're just comfortable to play. That, uh... So anyway, f- f- back to what we were talking Speaking about. Speaking of things that hurt. Yeah. Johnny, uh, t- and it's in the, if we do upload the podcast of I'm not Matt, that great a skateboard. We talk, we talk a lot about this, so I don't want to like ruin that one, but it isn't uploaded yet, so we can definitely tell about Johnny crashing on the skateboard. <laughs> I bet it was everything but gracious. He's not a bad skateboarder, believe it or not. I'm in the wreck. Yeah, no, it oh, went right no, to his the, face. No, <laughs> there's nothing pretty about the wreck that happened. It he was, went, he, he, so here's scenario. We get in John, and he's already learned how to go up and, uh, like, kick turn or do a 180. Both directions he can go mm-hmm. and kick turn on the yeah, ramp kind and come of a back. Bad motherfucker. So we're trying to teach him to go up and then come back fakie. Yeah. That's harder than god dang doing a kick turn. Wait, ter- well, yeah, you're Coming back fakie is a lot harder. So anyway, John goes up. It comes back fakie, and he thinks he's got it, and he goes to, like, I don't know if he's actually trying to manual or not, but it, he went into a manual, and the board shoots out from under him, and he's literally, he's still on the ramp. All of his body is still on the ramp. It, it's on my quarter pipe. Skateboard goes, sure was He's, like, he's as yeah. level as this bar, like, three feet in the air, and lands right smack. He's wearing sunglasses right on his face. Skateboard was in the neighbor's yard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've done it that before. shot out. And, and he literally, but all of him hit the ramp. Oh. He was so level, he was on the quarter pipe. All of him just went, boom, right to his face, and he bounced. He went, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was bad. I was like, oh, you all right? But he popped up, and I, all I could do was just laugh. Like, right. That's all Matt anybody got. Yeah. Like, was. Uh, like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. That was too funny. I had uh, a. <laughs> Seems had, like uh, most of the good wrecks happened here at Travis's dude, house. He slammed so hard. It just. <laughs> I. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I, they both kept asking me if I was okay, but yeah, it was amongst right. chuckles and giggles and laughs. Yeah. It was there's. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's his glasses fun. blew off his head. Like he hit directly on his feet. He got a black eye from. Oh it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had a black eye, and I my hip still isn't done bruising. <laughs> it's still changing colors. It's still spot. changing. Colors. You know the thing yeah, is though, John, you're not too old to learn new things, and that's what that proved to you. Yeah. Because you learn new things. Yeah. Not just if I had one of those... Uh, Skateboards? 
Jeff Hammond skateboards. <laughs> no shit, huh? Shit, I'm sure. I'm never going to be that I'm good. I'm sure you could get I'm one. I'm too old for that anyway. You could get one. I'm too old for that shit. Dude, I don't There's know. There's no such I thing. Seen, I seen like a 70-year-old dude what in what Lewis you? Town. 42. Dude, Jeff's got 13 years on you. Well, well. And shreds. That's he because he's shred. a bad motherfucker. He is. He shreds, dude. Whoa, I'm wait, not. wait, wait. Did Johnny just say he's not a bad mother? That's got to be a first. Oh, I said <laughs> Jeff is a bad mother. No, you just said I didn't I'm say not. I wasn't. Yes, you did. Did I? You said he's a bad motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna. Not. This is the first time we're ever gonna edit one of the podcasts. I didn't hear him say I'm not, but it it implied that you weren't. He said <laughs> I'm not. He said that's because he's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back and edit this because. No, we won't. If, uh, one thing I did not imply or mean to imply. Oh my God, I'm Or mean to say. You was said that it. I'm not a bad motherfucker. You said it. Hey, Travis, remember the first time I was on your ramp? Yeah, actually, very first time on the ramp, we were trying to do. I was just. I was still trying to learn kick turns frontside, and John comes over and did one first try on the board before I could even get it. I was just having a yeah. bet, like. <laughs> I, well, I'd already I done know. it. I'd already done it before, but that day I was like working on him again, and I wasn't landing it. Yeah, I and hate Johnny that. comes over and just boom. So same thing though. Like the last weekend, Matt was over here, or not last weekend. This was last week. Matt was over here, and uh, well, she's a way better skater than I am. You know, yeah, she, is. And she is. She is. She is. Yeah, she she's is. she's a great skater. What'd she say? Yeah. Anyway, he had my ramp out there, and we got a rail on the other end, a square rail at the time, and. He'd been trying, and I hadn't been out there yet, and he just couldn't get it, couldn't get it. I came out very first try. Boom. Right Perfect. across, landed it. I was like, yeah. And he's like, what the? So he had to jump in and do it right away, too. That's how you do it. And it yeah. What can I say? Don't even think about it. Just went for just it. I it. drilled it. I knew it was and, on. And, what, and after, even after I wrecked, I got up, and I and he went did it again. to the end of the god dang cement. I turned around, and I nailed it. And he did get it. He you rode away to. fakey. Yep. You have to. That's why I tell all those little kids, like, when they crash, you know, I go, I don't care about anything. I know you hurt and everything, but make sure you do it again today. Like, if you're not too hurt, yeah, not so you right can't go away home. if you can't. Well, you know, like, if you can't go home. Don't let it beat you. But, yeah, don't let that be what goes home it's in your the, head. I was like that because wreck in Lewistown. I ended up landing that transfer. Yep. When you get bucked off a horse, that day. you got to right. get back on. Yeah, Unless it stomps on your skull and crushes your... Yeah, yeah, yeah unless yeah, you're, you're out. Right, you're right. Unless you're dead, you can't get back on there. If I would have been Matt, I probably would have... Packed my gear and went home. I mean, like, if you get attacked by a He's shark, you're going to defend himself. Surfing, I know, you I know. know. Like, that was cheap. I probably would. but It, it hurt. I'm not going to lie, it hurt. It oh, looked like it hurt a lot. And it still hurts. But he's skinny enough. He bounces pretty good. Oh, believe it or not. Yeah. Like, he, he literally just when I Just when I need more injury. Yeah. Yeah, but, not only or have we been dealing with this heat over here, too, but... The fires on the West Coast, the air right now is just terrible. Yeah, and how about the how about your it's permanent your, haze? Your sinuses hurt, your yeah. eyes hurt, your freaking everything that has to do with your respiratory system hurts. It's bad. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's just me being a giant wuss, but no, man, it's bad. Like when you're coming down into town from out south, I mean, you can't hardly once you can. You know where you should usually be able to see damn near dots, and you can't even hardly see out to like Cricket's place. Right. And, like, well, and so the, hazy. the whole you can you know, see it, but it's just these, everyone sees these beautiful sunsets and sunrises of Montana right now. Where they're not beautiful because they're smoke filled. That, yeah, that's what makes them red and beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's depending fair, on your version it's of beautiful. Terrible right now. Uh, I don't think it's beautiful because it reminds me of fires. Yeah, and there's a shitload of them burning. We're lucky it's not in Montana this year. There is Glacier Park. Glacier well, I mean, Park, not like wow. the two years. Was it two years ago? Yeah, yeah there's that a couple. It ain't that bad, that. like, but there's not in our state is what I was saying. Yeah. It's, everywhere else is pretty terrible, though. It's If it stays like this with no rain yeah. for as long as it's been, it's going to get bad. We've got, we've got quite a few of them going on in our state, but it's n- nothing like, yeah, nothing like those California guys, but... Granted, we have a lot more. We have a lot more space. In you know between. what is messed up? The year we had all the fires in Montana, like on a scale compared to the ones in California, I bet we're almost worse. Yeah. And 
there was hardly Easily. as much publicity about it. Yeah. Well, like, because, yeah. because other than in Montana yeah. and surrounding states, because there's not so near big. as many people. That same year, no structures. There burned. was that the, the wildfire yeah. that went through like burned like ninety homes. It was on fucking news for a week straight. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's exactly right because no structures burned. Even though we killed, we we killed the, what do you call it? The where the wildlife live. We killed the habitat for. Well, imagine if, like, Zortman was everything. completely populated and how bad it burned last year. Yeah. Oh, man. How bad it would be. It was... That was what a did huge they, fire. What did that they, was a big... I mean, that's a lot of ground save, that it covered. They saved the town? Yeah. I mean, Landusky narrowly escaped. Yeah. I mean, it burned all the way down to the edge of the town. And Landusky's not even a town. But, yeah, it's a ghost town, basically. It's, well, I mean, yeah, right. Ten people that live in the town. I wonder maybe. how many people actually are scattered throughout the hills out there. Oh, there's lots. Are there, I mean, there is. A, that seems like a trick question to me. Well. Oh, yeah, the little people are all over out there. <laughs> the I'm serious, man. They're there. They're there, huh? Fuck yeah, if you don't believe in them, you don't believe in Sasquatch. There's genomes. Did you know that it's legal to actually kill Sasquatch in Montana? It's legal. You're telling it's me legal. if you were camping or hiking and you walked up on him or he walked up on you, you wouldn't shoot him? You'd have You'd to. You'd try to be friends with him? That's what I'm saying. I'd fucking... You'd have to. If it... I didn't have a gun, I'd be like, oh, my God, this yeah. sucks. Dang it. I'm going to get ripped apart by yeah. Sasquatch. No one's going to believe if, what this. What if he doesn't come at you and he just waves? What if Sasquatch literally walked by and went, huh? Then, then no one would believe off. you. What would, like, what would you do? The... I'd invite I him would go. Would you still pop him? I... No. Yes. No, no if, if he, he waved, waved to me, I'd be I'd, like, "Hey, I'd, I would shoot Sasquatch in a second. Here. Not if he waved. I don't think Dude, I would. If he waved, I'd get a picture. What if he was that intelligent and he went? Yeah, you think oh. you'd get a picture? But he was like running off and just Sasquatch like, hates <laughs> pictures. <laughs> don't you know that? Hey, <laughs> running you through your camp. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my skateboard. Sign yeah. it. <laughs> Come running through don't camp. Take my skateboard <laughs> camping. Come on, John. I'm not that. Come running through camp. Hey, I'm just on my way to the. You're saying you've never gone camping with your skateboard? I don't think so. You've Wait, never camped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. I had that's to different. catch you. That's different. Yes, I camped in Big Sandy in a tent okay, with my skateboard. Then. Okay, then. Skateboards. One. Oh, just one. Oh, what happened to the other one? All right. I've got it, parts of it back. Oh, sweet. I got a few splinters. I, yeah. Close. The good parts are gone. Splinters hurt. Sons of bitches. Yeah, don't take my fucking skateboard, all right? Ask me. I could have gave you an extra one. No shit. That was the one that wouldn't have fucking set me on my ass. Yeah, that was the one that Johnny rode. Now how do you feel? You made him oh, crash. Shit, made me cry I don't even too. cry, and you're about to make tears come out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some days are diamonds. I wish you could have went with us, Noah, to that this year. Yeah, that would have been fun. This year was way, like... The Big Sandy stuff was the funnest this year. Better compared than Lewistown? Did you go to Lewistown? Yeah. Lewistown was cool. There was a lot of people at Lewistown, but Big Sandy was like... You get to Big Sandy, and so Big Sandy has two big bowls, just two different bowls. I don't know. Have you seen them yet? No. See, I probably wouldn't. I don't well, even like going down on those. Because well, no, all I can no, do is are, serve the walls. Like. Yeah, you can roll. It, they're fun to skate, but you wouldn't have went down probably in front of all these guys. So no. I didn't. But that... the one, like, I mean, just we skated, watching them was yeah, we Yeah, we skated for a minute, like... In Big Sandy, we skated. But in, like, in Big Sandy, they do a, a contest. And, I mean, I took a couple laps and shit, you know. But then they do, like, so everybody sits around. And, like, all the the yeah, old guys, all the old top of it all the old pros and shit sit around. And they, they judge the contest. And, like, this year they did a foot plant contest. Different kinds of foot plants for uh, the guy that used to run Grindline. He, he did, passed away. And so they did it in honor of him. But, like, it was... It was fun. It was watching a good quality skate comp with yeah, some good sweet. skaters and, like, everybody hanging out, having some beers. And Were those guys from Seattle there again? There was a couple guys from Seattle. Not that, not the whole black market skate crew, though, not no. Crew. But there was a guy from, like, I want to say California that was a stud. What about that, that guy from uh, Cody? Wyoming. He was that dude. Dude, stud. he is I put stud. his. I put that video up of him. Uh, he jumps. So, you know, the Lewistown Park over on, the like, the far wall towards that building? You know how there's that, that big, big long huge, rail that goes all the way yeah. around it? He jumped off of that all the way up and over to the concrete ledge that's on the outside of it. Jumped three kids eating ice cream cones sitting there. Went over them, did a grab, landed on the rail, and rode it out. Damn. Huge. Just, I mean, like, 
I, w- I got it on video, yeah, a good video. Did you but, see like, those guys transfer in that part that yeah. day? They were completely skipping it all together and just transferring over the whole thing. Did you see Did you see Billy's that? transfer yet? The one that, no. the guy that built Evergreen? Anyway, he tra- he's got one that uh, they filmed pretty well that day. But, yeah, it was, it was huge. Like, I mean, I, I, it would be so much fun to be able to go that big, to be able to, like, control and know you're going to land like that. It'd be like a whole new rush. Dude. That's what I'm in it for. That's what a guy would like to be, you know? Right. Johnny. How's your dog? My dog was worried about me. I had to. He was. He was out there whining. I had to go get the dude, Jeffrey Lebowski. So, uh, last week the Raiders played the Lions. Mm-hmm. In preseason. Preseason don't mean shit, but. They still won. Uh, yeah, your Raiders no. won. I'm happy. The Lions went 4-0 the year that they went 0-16. Yeah. So I, every year so I did hope the they... Ra- the, well, they didn't go 0-16, but I remember the one year I thought the Raiders went 4-0 and in the preseason, they played like... Not, yeah, I... Uh, they played like dog shit. Preseason nothing new, means but... nothing at all. No. Other than you hope your players don't get hurt. Uh, yeah. You know it, what it means? It means summer is over. It does. It That's means football exactly season's over yep. here, right? Yep. Isn't that what preseason Pretty means? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Right. Great. Your dog's got a hairball. He's going to hack on Noah's foot now. Great fucking A, dude. But, no, it was a... Uh, so what do you think? What do you think of your Raiders? Is there anything that stuck out to you that... Um, I didn't watch a lot of it. Didn't? But, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about our receiving core this year. They look good. I'm pumped to have Bryant. That dude's a beast. My guess is, uh, as much as I hate to say it, it's got to be the Rams and the Vikings. It's... Those Fuck the, the Vikings. I know. I know. I know. I'm but their defense it, is going to be solid again. Geez, they're they're going to be good. They're but not going to have the Vikings. The Rams look like they could be really good. God, the Rams are good. With the Rams, are Aaron Donald be good. and and Sue next to each other, dude. Like, they're going to be good. That's the two best D tackles in the league, if you ask me, and you're putting mm-hmm. them right next to each other. And Aaron Donald's quick enough to slide him outside and he oh my rush God. the passer from the edge. And Andrew Luck's beast. coming back to play this year. Yeah, man. He looks good, he too. He did. He's a he's a good quarterback when healthy. When healthy. he could have been one of the best ever, I think, ever. if they could yeah. have just took care of him. If they would have taken care of him, he might be the golden boy. I think he could have been. Still could be, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I mean he's am- young. He's the younger. Amish, the Amish younger than he's Bradford. young, but he's taking a beating like yeah. Brett Favre he's, did throughout yeah. his whole career. He, yeah, but who's Brett Favre? He's a stud of all time. Yeah. Yep. Came uh, on late. Went Andrew on like, till he's 40 something. He's yeah, out that's because he was it. riding fucking Andrew pain Luck's pill gonna highs be, the entire season. Andrew Luck's yeah, going to well, be the Amish Did you watch Golden that 30 Boy. for 30 when yep. he came out and said that shit? That season he had with the Vikings when yep. he brought him to the playoffs, he said he was doing like 17 Vicodin a day. Holy. That's so a what? lot of Vicodin. Yeah. I mean, he's a big. He's a lot bigger than us, obviously, but. Sounds like, a, I still sounds like a wussy. I still think he's a badass. Yeah, oh, he was a stud. Dude. I think Stafford plays a lot like oh, Brett Favre of almost any quarterback, really. The way, like, just a gunslinger out running around, fucking throwing it sideways. And yeah. I like Matt. I heard uh, the thing that? I noticed about the Lions this year is like just the pictures of Stafford. He looks way more like a man now than the baby face. Did he outgrow his baby face a little bit? He looks like he looks way more cut. Like I don't know. Huh. He looks more like a man. You know, he I was, must you be know taking I, some illegal substance. Watch or he, he turned thirty. He'll get banned. He'll, turn get, he'll get fined and suspended a game for some su- substance. They're going to decide is illegal. God, please tell him let that Rob happen. Burger went because Matt Castle can't cover it. <laughs> uh, concussion protocol today. Today he did? Yeah, Roethlisberger had to leave the stadium. Roethlisberg. The Lions had uh, their starting center go down in practice on Monday or Tuesday. And so they were like, everybody's going, what are they going to do? They drafted a really good center this year. They're, that was their number one pick. But he's actually playing guard this year. And they were thinking, do we slide him over? Because if we slide him over, then we got to have two rookies next to each other. Like, right. And then you lose all of what you had. Well, and the guy came back the next And everybody was like, ACL. It had to be ACL. And Graham Glasgow came back the next day. And I was like, fuck yes. Thank oh, yeah. you for coming back. They just oh, slid shit. him the extra finger. And they did slide that start rookie to the side, though. Fantasy football league. It'd be fun. We do it. I, I usually play it. a I few. I might drop team. out of the others I'm in. I drafted a team the other day, but. Just thinking we should get one amongst buds instead of just randoms. Yep. Yeah. Well, then, you, you almost can't draft one until then we'd all the, hate fi- each other. the final 53s pick for each team anyway. Because you my never phone's know who. Been, my phone's been ringing off the hook. Then we'd hate each other. Yeah. I was on mine, too. I play with a lot of local guys, though. Well, yeah, but what I about fantasy Shut football? Shut up. <laughs> God, I just ate that one. I was terrible. <laughs> Thanks. 
That's you're, the way our friends are. So if welcome. you don't have thick skin, you couldn't even hang out. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you can't take a joke and fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Then you'll never play fantasy football. Especially not with John. <laughs> uh, deflate gates nothing. John, what's your favorite shows on regular TV these days? Ray Donovan. Oh, Ray, regular TV? Donovan. Still? Ray Donovan is the best show of all time. Uh, Shameless is the second best show. Is of that all on time. your regular TV? No, it's not. Oh, well. But on regular TV, Judge Judy, by far. <laughs> Shameless is a dirty ass show. It's awesome. Like, I, I watch it every once in a while with Carol, too. But William it's H. Like, Macy? It's so dirty that Dude, it's sometimes it's, it's almost like... It's horrible. It's, it's terribly horrible. It's, it's shameless. It's so you tell me we can have a TV show like Shameless, but a guy can't... Oh, don't you know, fucking Hollywood, no. they're the leading activists of the world right now. They are, but like this is dirty if shit actors, that happens all the time. If the actresses say it's okay, then the whole William world H. Macy is worth deserves it. A, he deserves an award of some sort. He's good. It, yeah, oh yeah, it's funny. Reminds me a lot of John. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too. That's why John watches it. Gets whatever he wants, anytime he wants it. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a funny ass show. That is a it, it is. Show. I try not to watch it too much because I literally every time because. So Carol will usually start watching it before I do, and she'll get like halfway through or whatever, and I'll cut in in the middle. And usually, right when I walk in, there's naked. Like I'm just like you, just watching one big fuck fest. Like it's, yeah. it's, it looks like but a big. It's not, it's that's not, not it. Though. That's not what it yeah, is. It's, do you remember back when there was like softcore porn on HBO? Like it. Like, oh, do oh, there I. still is, dude. Well, I know, but yeah, <laughs> they and, call it Skinamax. Yeah, exactly. But now. Like, that show is way over the top of what that softcore porn used to be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. And there's way better looking women now. Uh, in my opinion. In, in so, my opinion. I uh, thought you were looking at William H. Macy. <laughs> yeah, he's naked in almost every single show. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> but he's, We finally found a show Noah didn't, Noah's never seen. Noah, Noah you should be a I've seen critic. Episodes, you should really? start a critic website. You watch a lot of movies. Oh, I'd be funny the best movie critic, critic ever. That'd be funny. Do it. You can be the next Siskel and Ebert. You know, it's still one of my favorite movies of all time. Is it could be the Noah and Caleb. Yeah, show. almost, almost heroes. Almost. Oh, that's a great one. It that's one of the one. best of all time. When he goes up and gets the three. Any eggs. man who look at my woman. I need to start writing movies die. down like that. That I. I lo- I love when when he goes and gets those three eggs. The <laughs> oh, eagle eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Come and give me your damn bird. <laughs> I love when he gets down the first time and we he sees that the... pig and he shoots it and he's making the bacon and he's sitting there and he looks at the egg and then he's two seconds later yeah. the next scene he's got <laughs> eggs and bacon and he's eating. And then he, he gets starts all crying the way, when he's yeah. eating it. Yeah. He gets, what, finally gets all the way back and they're oh, we only needed the shell. Yeah, all I needed was the shell. <laughs> What's, uh, what was that show you were talking about earlier? That uh, This is the end. end of the world? This is the end, yeah. That's a great I, one. I know. I, I love that movie. Nacho I Libre, remember. one of the best shows Nacho ever. Libre is pretty good. I, I've I, never seen Nacho Libre. Oh I never God. had either. Um, I haven't. The, this you guy need to Zach, watch it tonight uh, before you go to sleep. Yeah, this, It'll uh, change your goddamn life. I will say that is a pretty funny one. I had never seen it either. And then Noah and Zach made me watch you it. You guys watched day. Little Nicky? Yes. Little Nicky was great. That's a great one. What's your favorite Sandler movie? Ooh, that's tough. Billy Madison. That's real tough. I was just going to say either Billy Madison or... Billy Madison. Happy's know. right up there. Happy Gilmore. Happy's pretty Anger good. management is yeah. hilarious. Billy Madison. But there's so Water many more. Boy. Little Nicky, Waterboy. Little like, Nicky. Billy Madison. Mr. Deeds is funny. Yeah. Deeds is all right, but Billy Madison. You've got to go find that fucking dog, <laughs> man. Yeah. That's what, that's hey, what man, made Hey, man, where's Billy? He's at school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what made him was yeah, was Billy Madison. I don't think that. Why I can't you just give me a snack pack? I wouldn't say that's the funniest one though. I don't, I don't know. know I don't know, man. There's so many. Billy funny Madison ones. is. Pretty it's right there. Funny, it's right there. I don't know if that's. that's he's got a billion of them. Uh, what's what the about, one with uh, him and you David better write Spade? Hot Rod down. What's, oh yeah, I like Hot Rod. What's the I one with David ago. Spade? Uh, All of them. Chris Rock. Uh, grown Ups. Yeah, Grown that Ups. That one was funny. Those are pretty dang funny. I like when, those ones. When David Spade's daughters show up. Yeah. <laughs> what's uh? No, it was the other guy's daughters. Um, what's his name? Rob Snyder. Snyder. The uh, one yeah, of them's just yeah. sexy as hell, and the yeah. other one looks the just like him, but a chick. Yeah. What's that's right, Rob Schneider. Why am I drawing a blank on it? 
That's right. David Spade is a. He's the. He's one of the greatest blues. smart asses. What's, the, what's of all the name time? of the one? You're my boy, Blue. Old school. Oh, old, old school. school. That's why. Yeah. That's a great one. Wedding Crashers. That's one of my all time. Wedding favorites. Crashers is pretty good. Wedding what about Crashers? Number ninety nine. No excuses. Play like a champion. Blazing Saddles. I. Uh, Monty Python's Quest for the Holy Grail. Cool, cool <laughs> Runnings. Cool Those Runnings cool is good. What about Uncle Buck? Oh yeah. The Uncle Great Buck Outdoors. Is funny. The Great Outdoors. The great Outdoors. <laughs> big Bear. Big, big Bear. Cheese bear. Cheese big bear. <laughs> you want a big what sandwich? Bob? Yep. What yeah. about Bob? Is what the about Burbs? Bob? The yeah. Burbs is hilarious. The, I love that. I don't think I've seen that with great. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yep. Where they? The think? Burbs is yep. freaking. How about? Good. Have you seen? Is it called? Is it just called Cool? The one with. Uh, I heard that one. Not Tom Hanks. What's the dude? The John Travolta, and oh, be cool. Be cool. Uh, That's funny. That's a funny movie well, for. It was a different best, role that you wouldn't best expect. Best cartoon to be. ever. Surfs up. Best cartoon you ever. Was Eight Crazy nope. Nights. Oh my Simon. god! You have never seen Surfs Up? You no. ever seen? You ever the seen show Eight about crazy the penguins? Nights? But they all no, surf. I don't think I've ever watched it. Eight Crazy Nights. Is it as good yes, as Goofy the, Movie? Goofy Movie. Where, where Dude, the, better than Goofy. The referee movie. gets knocked out and he sticks his thumb up his ass and he goes, "Oh, it feels like a cat's." I'm a, out cold. Did you guys remember that oh, one? Oh, that's that one, one of funny. my all-time favorites. Yeah. When they start spinning him in it, spinning him in the street and wake him up. Yeah. So here's a big, like we're talking about the best comedies ever. We missed a bunch. Dumb and Dumber, fucking Ace Ventura. Oh, both of them. Uh, Austin Powers. All those ones. Those ones are like were revolutionary. Beavis and Butthead to America. South like, Park is the bomb. Yeah. Cartman might be the best character created in any show ever. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> he Possibly. is the best. Yeah. He, he's pretty funny. He's so outlandish. He, he's so... The episode when they when he convinces all the reenactment guys redoing and the and he'll sell his civil war out. to actually go take over the union and yeah. change slavery. And he will sell his friends out. In a <laughs> Mrs. McCormick, second. I'm sorry to inform you that your son has died in the field of battle over in Gettysburg. <laughs> Unfortunately, on. he is the only casualty of the war so far. <laughs> <laughs> Noah could quote more fucking movies than anybody I know. I just... I don't even like watch them that. Like there, has, I'm not gonna say that. There's movies I've watched a hundred times, but there's no. I'm just really good at. If something made me laugh, I'll remember what it said. Days and confused. You know, I, my like, favorite. That was a, oh, it's not a comedy, a, but it's a like, you know what my favorite one great. is. A river runs through it. That's a great one. Yeah, that is a good one. I have to say, Brad Pitt's in a lot of great movies. <laughs> what about Lawless? For you. Dude? Oh, Lawless is good. That is a Lawless great movie. Is a great one. Lawless that movie is good. blew my mind first time I watched. Lawless it. is good. That's the prohibition. Right? What about? Um, have you ever seen Savages? I don't know if I have. Uh, Taylor Kitsch is in it, and the guy that played Kickass. They're like these yeah. two friends that they go in on selling. Start they start growing marijuana, but they get hooked in with uh, Mexican drug cartels. It's really good. Uh, I don't. Think You'd I've like seen that Savages. One. Savages. Benicio del Toro's in it. Oh, speaking of Benicio del Toro, did you ever see uh, Sicario? Cicero? Is that what it is? Sicario? No, I wanted to. Um, yeah. If if you guys haven't seen that, then come back with me about my government conspiracy shit. That good, huh? It's that good. It, Alex you know, Jones is claiming isn't that it's about a conspiracy how they when he got send knocked off the air. People down in there to like stir shit up. In between the cartels, to they start fights. Yeah, to to make shit happen. Yeah, yeah. Sicario is a good one. Anyways, when did we get off on movie reviews? It's about back at Almost Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Good call. Well, because I said Noah would be a great movie critic. He'd, he'd make. He'd I know. All and then lines. we started talking about. And then I went, "Hey, what's a good funny movie?" And we. Rattled some good ones off. I couldn't wow. even write that fast. No shit. That... Did you get surfs up in there? You would I did. Love I got. I'll underline it. It's like the skateboarding movie, but surfing. Surfing. What for, about? What and about? it's got adult humor in it. Like it's hilarious. I know. What about the original? Uh, what's the one that had Tom Hanks as the cowboy? Toy Story. Toy Story. Yeah. Where he where he calls him light beer instead of light year. Did you ever catch that part of? Uh uh-uh. uh There's there's a one part where he goes, okay, whatever, light beer. <laughs> but, but I, I well, never noticed it until about. The, yeah, I never noticed it until about like the fortieth time watching it. 
It's like he just called him light beer. When you were in school, could you wear a big Johnson shirt to, to school? Yep. Without getting kicked out? Yep. Yep. Not today. Dude, when I, I ran you, for I bet you couldn't today. When I when I ran for class president, you should see the signs that I put up. <laughs> they were what was it? Uh one time I saw George Bush uh during the Summer Olympics or whatever that is, the Big Sky State Games. George Bush came and gave everybody a talk for the opening ceremonies. So you you mean to say you've watched George Bush give a speech? That was that was half of my what I huh. ran. That was my platform was vote for John. He's seen Bush. <laughs> <laughs> which a lot You'd of kids in my which a, a lot of kids in my class had to say, "Oh, I you seen it? Yeah, we haven't." Holy That's shit! He funny. saw George Bush. No, it wasn't the Bush they were I thinking know. about. <laughs> John was an early bloomer. <laughs> I was a late bloomer. I was too. I don't think I had a girlfriend till I was thirty-five. I, I'm didn't still a virgin. That, no, I'm just kidding. I have two kids, but I never got laid. I just had virgin, wet dreams, dude. and they rolled in it. <laughs> I could see that actually. I could. <laughs> <laughs> was, you know, there was never arguing about the wet spot, except for that once. That mystery pee. That mystery pee. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. <laughs> I gotta gather ourselves. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? We're back. Sorry for the long movie delay. Some like some people might like it. Maybe we uh, offered up some suggestions. There's that you've some never gems seen. in there, people. There are good ones, and actually, there's quite a few that you guys mentioned that I'd never seen. I mean, a few of them anyway. Like we said, Surfs Up and whatnot. But That's a great show. I can't good wait one to watch it now. Too. Can't wait to watch it now. I've always passed by it because I thought it was like... What's the guy that played uh, Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, yeah. I He's know. one of the voices in there. Really? Sh- Shia- Does he talk like Napoleon? Shia LaBeouf is... Yeah. Shia the guy LaBeouf from Ben Schwarmers? He's in there. There's, huh. uh, Jeff Bridges is one really? of the main characters. The dude. The dude. Zoe Deschanel is in it. Man, I'm going to have to watch oh, it. Oh, man, it's one of the best movies of all time. Huh. I think I have it in that box, and I'm going to watch it tonight when I go home. It's that good, huh? Is yeah. it on Netflix or anything? Do you know? Uh, I don't think Probably so. Not. Probably not. All the good ones. Dude, it's probably I'll do, it you, is. do you have I'll Amazon bet it is. TV? Yeah. I'll yeah. Bet. Dude, I bet you can find it on that. It's, I bet so. Yeah. I've seen it. Christina Applegate. Is she in it, too? Yeah. Pretty Isn't sure. Isn't she the one off of uh, Married with Children? Yep. What a great series. Married with. It. You've never seen Married with Children? No. I oh live there, dude. I don't need Lord. to watch Al Bundy? That shit. No. Al Bundy? Like, he's old. It's old school TV, but. Didn't he score? The funniest. Dude, really? you got it. Like, it's a sitcom. You got to watch some of it. Well, if you've to. never seen it, Married with Children. He hates his family. Unbelievably good. <laughs> dude, it's so funny. He hates his family. Uh, he hates his family, and his whole life revolves around his high school football career. Right. Christina Applegate was hot back then, and, like, Peg was his big, like, Blonde bimboy wife and like it's oh. gr- it's a great show. He's a shoe salesman, and, and but he's uh, just like he and hates who is everything. The, right. Who is the son? The son was all uh, I can think about is the glory days. Uh, who the heck was that? Sup? Uh, jeez, I'm gonna look it up on here because that that is a fucking. Hilarious he's the, he's the one who's show. the does the robot chicken. And, Seth uh, Green. Seth Green. <laughs> no way. Was it Seth him? Green. Was it him? Yeah. I don't Wasn't know it? if I, I don't know if I ever knew that, and maybe it is. Pretty sure it was Seth Green. Seth Green is the guy that played the crazy ass dude on Road Trip, and, and yeah, that's Austin Freddy Power. got or not fingered. Austin Powers, but yeah, Austin Powers. Yeah. Freddy got fingered. Yeah, I'm dude. pretty sure that was in like junior high. The girls son used to oh play no, I'm like thinking Seth of the Green. other Green. Seth Green, yeah, he's in fucking Austin Powers, and like, yeah. Who was the son on the the Bundys? Married with Children? Yeah, the Bundys was the name of their Al Bundy. You've or, never yeah, seen Al Bundy? Married with Children. You probably was, were too young for it. I bet. It was married Man. with Children. I've the, heard of it. I used I've to watch just, it like that was one of the it. sneaky things I'd watch late night with my dad when he'd leave the TV on or something, and we'd. Oh, lay it's there. a funny one. Yeah, it's a good one. He was a shoe salesman, and he was a failure as a father, and his family just was a flunky family, and. <laughs> It was, they hated each other, and it was awesome. But they also had, uh, what was it? it? Bundy had a, they had a group called No Ma'am, and it was. No, it was not, Seth Green. You were way off. Was I? David Faustiano. <laughs> Who the oh. fuck is that? It was close. He's a, <laughs> it was close. He's a Travis-looking motherfucker. Redhead, freckles. 
You were dreaming of another guy. <laughs> Here's the... Well, I guess it. maybe he'd pass Okay, first. maybe. Here's the cast of it. Oh, and, and Peg wasn't blonde. She was redheaded, <laughs> Red, too. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. The redheaded monster. It's hilarious, though. It is funny. Al Bundy's like the real-life Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> like, Shoe salesman. Dude, it's, he's but, hilarious. I'll have to watch But he, he relives his... His high school football days, every almost every episode, it's just one of those classic. I don't know. It's it's hard to imagine somebody grew up not seeing that. But granted, it is old. There are it's some old. full episodes. Oh no, this is a reunion. It's old. But I think there's some full episodes on uh, YouTube. Even is there? Married with Children documentary. <laughs> there's a documentary about it. I'm gonna have to watch that because it. It's funny. Isn't he the same guy that's on uh, the uh, the family show now? Modern like, Family. Modern yeah. Family. Yeah. yeah. It was always like, like and a lot He's of the, the one married would, to that hot chick. A lot of the settings would be on the couch. The Colombian. And like, yeah. uh, hot chicks would like ridiculous, over the top hot. Chick. Like he was just the average old man male, and he'd like you know pervy well, and that Christina was Applegate was the hottest thing in television at that point. Yeah, she was gorgeous back then. She's still pretty hot. Eh. I'd do her. Yeah, it's. A... I mean, come on. You're telling me John, Christine Applegate. Well, jo- I, we know John would. I don't know. That depends on how old this condom in my back pocket is. See? <laughs> I'd hate to catch something from her. Oh, oh good hell. lord. <laughs> That'd be your good, claim clean to fame. Christian girl. <laughs> Best of Al Bundy's life, part one. I can't wait to go through Married with Children <laughs> on YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> if she would be so lucky to snag a guy like me. Right. Speaking of fishing. Fishing terminology. See that? You've been out trolling? Just use a big word there. Speaking of Facebook terminology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I more like the beer face plant. I like that beer. I love that beer. One of my favorites. I don't like the feeling of doing it, though. I I love the beer face plant, but it's one of the beers that, like, gets me really fucked up. Yeah. The the hangover definitely ain't worth it, but I like it a lot. One thing I've learned in in all of my evaluations and courses is if you drink in anticipation of the high, you have a problem. If you drink because you like the taste of it, then you're fine. You're fucked, John. I don't know. Depends on which course. If you drink because you like the taste of depends it, you're on, fine. Depends on which course you believe that I've taken. Are we talking about the course of antibiotics or? <laughs> that was a pretty good one, man. <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. I don't think there's a single beer that I can honestly say I just like the taste of it. But there are certain ones that I just. The beer's something tough for me like. to really drink with supper. You almost have to have like a barbecue like tonight that I could drink beer with that, but like to have a beer with supper. Not me. I'd rather have a big tall glass of milk. Or a, Ooh, there's nothing better than a cold glass yeah. of milk. Like people say like tacos and a corona. Like I maybe know. if I'm out for a party day, but like I'd much rather have tacos and a glass of milk. You know what I like is a a, a white Russian is like a glass of milk. Those are the bomb, dude. I swear to God that pretty good. resort I stayed at in Mexico I had never even heard of it. A white Russian is yeah. about as good as it gets. They're like, how do you make it? I had to tell them how to make it, and we started drinking those for, like, the last three nights we were there. And they give those you... The, that's almost like drinking up. wine. Just like drinking wine at a supper, you pretty soon you start getting the giggles. If you're we, around good company and you start opening bottles of wine, pretty soon you're giggling and you're having fun and you drink, you're giggling. You drink so much milk when you drink wine. Don't get me wrong. They're delicious, but... Well, that's why they're for breakfast. Yeah. That's breakfast. Fucking that's breakfast. The, <laughs> White Russians for breakfast. And that's house. the dude, man. That's the that's the big Lebowski. That's same guy that calls me at eleven, going, "We're drinking a beer. You want one?" I'm like, "I'm not even through my first cup of coffee yet." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Man, I'm no, about John, out of beer." I just woke yeah, up. I'm, I only got two beers left. He says, <laughs> "I'm like, good God, no, I, I actually woke up fairly early today, but like, Rhea has a whole different oh. sleep schedule than your average child." You she get up can, pretty early in the morning. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. It's true. That's just. Good or you can continue on from the midnight. You can't midnight, argue with that you know, fact. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You just can't. Hey, dude. Bad. What do you think? The dude abides. 
The dude What's with this hostility, <laughs> man? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> His foot was on the line, market zero. That's my doppelganger. Fucking old Steve Buscemi. Oh, uh, movie, The Death of Stalin. Steve Buscemi's in that. There's a bunch of big name actors. Dude, that show is freaking hilarious. It's fairly new, but... You know, I, I'm terrible with, like, actors' names and shit. There's a lot of people. Like, Steve Buscemi, I don't think I know who that is. I mean, I should probably do if Crazy I see him. Crazy Eyes from Mr. Deeds. Yep, okay, I know him. Yep, and I never remember names, though. Like, any of those guys, I never... Isn't he Mr. Pink from, uh... Jeez, that's... Oh, a... I, yeah, I know who he is. There's... I've... Is Mr. Pink from uh, where all those guys, what the hell is that show, where all those guys get together and they all end up getting killed. One's Mr. Pink, one's Mr. Blue. What, what the shit is that movie? He's in that one when they hide. There's when somebody in their car listening, shouting. That jet. Fucking, what's that show called? Con Air? Yeah. There's, there's somebody in their car shouting the movie that Johnny's... Yep. Knows. Yeah, everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's like it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a. Oh, I um, can't believe I can't think of there's, it. There's there's a what's that Reservoir show Dogs. Yeah, Reservoir Dogs. Um, there you go. Suicide Kings. Put that one down. That's a great one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. How about White House Down? Have you seen that? Yeah, that's a good one. What was the other one you just said? Suicide Kings. What's the one with the guy who uh, who just got in trouble for r- uh, raping all the boys? Um, the Fuck guy the that was in American Rose or American, uh, was the the guy that I don't know where. Once oh, again, somebody shouting in their car. Hopefully, man. they're on John's level. There's another one. Yeah, it's a great show. It was about, about a guy raving a bunch of boys. No, it was it was about the uh, about the guy who his his life was going to shit, and he was a. Uh, it, his, it his daughter, uh, um, it was something. Oh man, I almost <laughs> want to pause it now. That ain't very much information. Thanks, Sean. Think about that for a while before you come back. It was American <laughs> something. It was American, American, American Psycho, American Beauty, American, American Beauty? Beauty. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know it. Well, the guy who was in it, whose name I can't. It seems to escape That's me. That's B-E-A-U-tiful. He has uh, since been banished from Hollywood because he has been raping little boys. Mm. It was actually little boys? Like, that's a yeah. fact? Is, there, is, this a, is this alleged? It, no. It's, it's uh, since the hashtag Me Too, it's come up. Boys or girls, though? It was boys? Boys. Oh, Wait, boy. and all they did was banish him from Hollywood? That's it? That's quite the slap <laughs> on the wrist. Yeah, you know, you know, actually, to be honest, to be honest, I don't know if he got any kind of trouble or, or, or if hey, he man, just can't he, make movies anymore. He can't stay in the hills anymore. He's, have to move. He, was in, he was in that can't same one, though. He was in the same one, uh, <laughs> the Reservoir Dogs, I believe. He was, uh, gosh, I can't think of his name. Huh, just like that, I guess it worked. They banished him. I can't think of his name. There's a uh, on uh, on YouTube. So back to the married with children thing. I was I scrolled past this. Al Bundy's best insults. There's oh, a whole clip of Al Bundy's God. best He's insults. He's got some. Damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was crude. Let's hear him. Let's hear. Some. I can't play him on here. I'd, that would copyright us. Can you say him? Uh, no, because I can't. I'd have to hit play. And it's on the same computer we're recording on. Oh, so. oh, 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 oh. It's going to be fun to watch, though. Are there some, next, I just, I'm smiling looking at some of these funny Next things. podcast. Yeah. Top 20 greatest. There's a couple at, or a couple videos of Al Bundy's so, greatest. So what if, we, what if we just say them instead of? We could. Yeah, you could say them if we remember them. All right. Next time. Next time. Hey, this is close to the end. Closing time. Heading to Chili's to chill yeah. out with my fucking boy. Oh, my dog's scratching my leg. Yeah, I'm pretty tired peanut butter, too huh? here, boys. <laughs> it's peanut butter time, baby. Yep, I'm getting very tired, too. But it's been fun. Yeah. It's, and it, I'm, I'm wondering, okay, so I'm, I got them stacked here. up right here. Before, or I had one beer before dinner, one with dinner, and I got two stacked one that's full You're in my hand. You're fucking alcoholic. Dude. Well, that'd be four beers I've had tonight. I'm like, I'm curious problem, that I can go Travis. back. 
Yeah. No, I, I'm, my you problem should talk is, to my is, counselor. My problem is I get a hangover after I have like three beers these days. Yeah, that's why you I should, don't drink very many beers. I've you should talk either. to my that's, counselor. Fuck your counselor. I don't need a counselor. I mean, maybe I do, but not her or him or whatever. I but, don't need a counselor. Oh, gender no, specific. No, I don't drink enough to need a drink drinking counselor. Because I'm stumped. <laughs> <Lord, my word. laughs> I don't need a counselor <laughs> every day, every day, That's all, folks. <laughs> yeah. I love those words. I can't even do it right now. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> My favorite cartoon. Nothing beats the Looney Tunes. Porky Pig, man. Looney Porky Tunes Pig, were great. Like Bugs what? Bunny. There's no cartoons that Yosemite my kids watch that are even close to as good as that. Speedy like, Gonzalez. Dude, SpongeBob is the shit. But I don't really like nothing. I don't really beats let the, the kids Looney watch Tunes. SpongeBob too much. Like fuck that. They can watch SpongeBob. Dude, nothing they... like Warner Brothers cartoons. Yeah. The Tom the... and Jerry. What about the Rooster? Yeah, Tom and Jerry what? were. Yeah, Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I said, I said, son. I saw you. Know. <laughs> yep. I said, I said, son, that's some big guns. Chicken, chi- you're a chicken hawk looking for a chicken. I always like Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote just for the inventions that Wiley would come up with. Oh, and then, yeah. Like, and how they could fail. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, he'd smash how, himself somehow. Yeah. How could he not eat all that Roadrunner food and <laughs> not have that rock fall on top of his head? <laughs> God, that Wiley Coyote. That, that would have been a fun job back in the day. Like those guys that were animating that, I bet it, I bet it was a blast making up those episodes. Oh, I am sure. The writers sure. for that show back in the day. I wonder if any of those writers that that wrote that are like are famous comedians that we don't know about. No, dude, it it is. It's uh, gosh, and now you now you've caught me on all of these people that I can't remember their names. And they are, they're. So you know them, or you did know them? I don't know them. Yeah, but, no, I, but they I, were I, like they are actual oh, yeah. comedians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're. Uh, they had to be good writers. I mean, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Is I, I, I feel terrible that I can't think of their. Well, I know Mel Blanc. I know that like the voice. Uh, of right, guys, right. He's one of them. He's, he's one of them. But he was just the voice, though. Or he's was he, or one no, of was the voices. Writer? Right. No, there was. Um, it was the Warner Brothers. It was the... Well, and the voiceovers are, is part of the gig, too. You know, like, being able to right. make the funny-ass voice. And, they, and then a, a few years ago, they had, the, uh, they had like, the grown-up version of Daffy Duck and, and, and Bugs Bunny and Porky Pig. And what, for real? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was just like Friends, only it was... The it was grown up the, version? It was the grown ups of. No way, really? Yeah. I know it, they used to have the Looney, the Looney Tunes babies were cool. Yeah, no, they weren't babies. They were. It was Daffy Duck lived with um, Bugs Bunny, and Daff, Daffy never paid his rent, and he was always a dick, and he always caused trouble, and Bugs Bunny always got him out of it. And then there was. No Dude, I'm not kidding you. It was one of the funniest things because it was it was just like it, it was just like Seinfeld. Only Yeah. It was Looney Tunes. Well, I'll believe you, but I want to watch it now. Man, there's so much good info on YouTube. As I scroll through like hitting Looney Tunes. Oh my god, there's a Dora the Growing Up cartoon. Jeez. And the the screen picture is her with the monkey in a convertible in her Chest is blocked out like she's no wonder you would notice that. Convert- is, she a, is she a hot Mexican? Well, of course, <laughs> tell me you. <laughs> <laughs> what is the door of the job? Uh, she's growing up, explores her best friend's wedding. It says, explores, I bet Jeez she does. Dora Wedding Crashers is what it would, yeah. What cartoons did you watch growing up, Noah? Fucking Rocket Power, Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold, let's see. SpongeBob. That. Doug. You ever watched Doug? Doug was on. Rugrats. Rugrats. Wild Thornberries. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Ed, Ed, hey, you want to see me comb my hair real fast? <laughs> hey, pretty mama. Want to see me comb my hair real fast? Let me, real fast? Let, me let me check my pecs. <laughs> Johnny the... Bravo was like The Rock before The Rock was The Rock. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Only he with was... blonde hair. Only with blonde hair, yeah. He was, 
Rocket Power was Hilarious, the bomb, but he was so dumb. Did you ever watch that one? No. Nope. About the kids that are all into action was, sports, and that's all they do? No, Rocket Power was, is the bomb. Teletubbies? Yeah, that show's for babies. <laughs> 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 that show's for babies. <laughs> <laughs> it is, dude. Sounds like something my Tinky eleven and seven year old would say. Uh, no, do your kids ever fight amongst each other at all? What? Do your kids ever fight oh, amongst each terrible. other? Oh, they're terrible. and Savannah hate each other most of the time. Ivy picks on Lily all the time. I'm like, Lily, you were four years older than her. Don't let her do that. And she's just. Brayden yeah. just gets incredibly annoyed by Savannah so fast. He'll like they're sitting there. St- so the other night we're uh, we're eating tacos, and right away, Braden goes, "Stop crunching so loud, Savannah!" And she literally took her first bite of a hard shell Jeez. taco. I'm like, Braden, it's a taco. They're all gonna crunch. Like, <laughs> and she's she doesn't eat with her mouth open or like she's not rude or anything. Stop crunching so loud, and he's all mad. Just waiting for something to complain. And I'm about like, Braden, knock it off. And pretty soon she takes one more bite, and he's like yelling. I'm like, Braden, quit. And then he goes take his bite of his taco. It's twice as loud. I was and, a dick to my little brother. I, I was probably pretty mean to my siblings every once in a while, too, but for the most part, we got along quite a bit because, like, my brother and sister are, are half brother and sister, so I only got them part of the time at my house, you know? So, like, when they were there, I wanted to get along with them, to, you know, and they were old. They were, well, not that much older than me, I guess. Not any different than Brendan and Savannah, but there were definitely times, like, dude, my sister locked Jay and I out on the roof one time. She told us that mom and dad called and that we had to do a fire drill. And Jay and I went out on the roof, and she locked a window behind us and left us out there. And our neighbors <laughs> called the parents, hey, your kids are on the roof. Hmm. And, I mean, there was some crazy, crazy times that I'd, they'd be left at home to babysit me, and they're in high school, and I was not. And the things I saw. I grew up on a thanks, farm Jay with Tangier, two like brothers. That. Yeah, uh, Believe me, I saw some pretty wicked shit. Uh, me and my brothers were. My older brother was a dick to me, and so then I was a dick to my little brother. And in turn, my older brother and my younger brother were buddies and hated me. So, therefore, middle child syndrome. Yeah. Ba-dum-tsh. Shit, I was a middle child. Everyone fucking loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you and Caleb never went fist to cuffs? No, I ain't a yep. middle child. And that ends our show for the night. Oh, yeah, yeah I, used to, I used to fucking rough Caleb up pretty good. Oh, he had I it coming a, most times. I was times, a dick to my little brother, but my older brother was a dick to me. So we get like, along great now, so. Now he, he's fucking monster-sized. You kind of got to pass it down, right? I'd, I'd I mean, still tie his ears together, though, if I needed to. <laughs> it happened. That's, there's, there's, there's one thing about what'd family you, is hierarchy. What did your parents do to make you get along? They made me and my brothers hug. 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 They would hold make, hands, walk around yep, the block. Yep, they'd, they'd walk around the block. Yep. All right, that's that's a good. They one. would just it, it would it, the like it it wasn't say I'm sorry or if or I mean write a letter hands, or nothing. Probably it was the most embarrassing. The made, yeah, like, I don't know, dude. It worked for it us. Worked. I put them in the get along shirt. <laughs> That'd be a, a little too an extra close large for me. shirt, and I put them both in it. Like they still got their regular clothes on, but throw an extra large shirt and make. Their head go through the same shirt yeah. and sit there. That that Savannah worked. just like sits there, That's mortified. That's fucking and abuse, dude. Still mad. That wouldn't work <laughs> for <laughs> us. I would have got. I would have been getting elbows the whole time. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's not allowed. I'd have been I'm elbowing. right there. I'm right there. You can't. Like, I'm sure you would have tried. Or but. my dad had this huge Webster's dictionary, and if we weren't listening, he'd made a, make us hold it, arms straight out in front of us, for however long. And if we dropped it, the time would restart. I mean, we never made the full time, but he sure made us hold that goddamn thing out there. <laughs> that I've, was been never just, I've been fun. like dropping, give me twenty five. Like, no. oh yeah, we do that right too. Now, That's easy. Run around. That's the easy. Yeah. But, oh, but, not not when your dad stands over your fucking not, yeah, shoulders and puts his foot on your back and yeah, makes you. But better hold there. Don't you drop? But depends on what you got in trouble for. If you and your brother got in trouble for fighting, he's going to humiliate you in front of everybody or make you do the most. That's that was the that was like the worst thing. I would take a spanking before I wanted to hug my brother after we just oh, got yeah, done getting a fight. Oh yeah, that's why the holding hands thing yeah. worked. Yeah. Yep. 
You hold your sister's hand or your little brother's hand and walk all the way around the block for everyone to see. You're like, Jesus, yeah. all right, I'll be good. Like, yeah. You don't want to do that. God, <laughs> all right. Give, yeah. you, so you give each other like the half-hearted hug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Stick I, finger here's hug. One. Sta- you you're make sitting them. there hugging and you're like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. You make them, <laughs> make them stand nose to nose until they yeah. start getting longer. They start laughing. I'll right in the middle. you to tell on me again. Yeah. Stand nose to nose, yeah. Well, I never seem to win any of those battles. What? I was a goofball. I I was the youngest child out of my like my siblings, but like I said, I was at home by myself most of the time. But yeah, it. Uh, my dad would just whip out the fucking belt like it didn't. Oh yeah, didn't I tell that story about the spanking stick? We had a spanking stick. I think I told that the other night, the one yeah. when Matt was here. And we had a spanking stick. And one day I found the spanking stick. And I was like, oh, wow. This is like a... a it's a, the most powerful wand in the world. <laughs> I'm like, I just had a, a I found the pick of destiny. I, I was yeah. like, there's no shit, dude. I was like, I found it. I found it. So instantly I went upstairs. And in our living room, we had two great big picture windows. Well, I went upstairs and I was like, ha, 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 motherfuckers. I found the goddamn spanking stick. I tossed it out the window. Well, it landed right in front of the two picture windows. Huh. Obviously, my parents saw it. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. I got really reacquainted with the spanking stick <laughs> real <laughs> fast. <laughs> but, wow. I was like, ah, oh, here. Yeah, that's, that's like in a horror movie. Why run up the stairs? Yeah. What? Don't go in there. What? Why? It's dark. What are you going to do? <laughs> what? Why would you follow that weird noise? How are you going to get away running upstairs? Son of a bitch. And I jump out the window just like the spanking stick. Yeah, I should I may as well have. <laughs> I may as well have. It was a it was a horrible idea. Did you ever sneak out? Oh yeah. No, I don't think I ever snuck out. No? Yeah, you did? I snuck out a few times, yeah. I One time to go to a party and then all the other times I was going to see Kelsey. So. I was too scared. I don't think I ever really snuck out. I was like, scared shitless every time I did it. But. I snuck out one time. Me and a buddy stayed the night in a tent over at his house, and we all we did was walk out of the tent and walk around town at like four thirty oh, in the morning. Okay, well, that, I, so all like, right. yeah. But we never like, and our parents, you know, they would have been pissed if we were at the age they would have been mad. We, I don't know how old yeah. we were. Probably about, I don't know, like I don't even want to say it, but probably like Braden's age. I bet. I bet I was like sixth grader, maybe. Me and a couple of my buddies. Oh, yeah, we had we had we called ourselves the Night Walkers. We, <laughs> we would See? go out and walk around like sixth, seventh grade. Yeah. Me and a couple of my buddies we were. I don't trust right. my kids walking around at that hour now. You know, or like. No. It's not the way it was back then. No, it's different. But we were we were camping out at the lake one year, and we were old enough to drive, and that was like the first time I can think of the sneaking, sneaking out, out, taking off. And and we, I, I had a vehicle that had a a clutch, so we pushed it. We could push it right. way out. See, of the that's perfect. Driveway, that's and, and that's what exactly what we did. And we drove around, and we were like, I think we stole a six pack of our parents' beer. And my like, parents, uh, well, I I slept Get upstairs out. in my house, yeah. so I had to jump out. I had to jump off the roof if I was going to sneak out. Hey, so there was like, I don't. I think maybe once I may have ever went out that window. And it was after I was like, probably should have just asked them, you know, like they right. were like big deal. Yeah, that's and like that's what we were saying. I we just had this conversation. But I it would have been to sneak down like to knock on out. my girlfriend's window or something that was down the street or whatever, you know, right. like. And it was that's what they were like? You guys think you snuck out? Yeah, we, we knew exactly what you were doing. We didn't get away with anything, but. No. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I wrap suppose, this fucker huh? up. Yeah. Let's wrap it up. Thanks, Montartica. Thanks, all the fans out there. Oh, my Lord. There's a giant spider on me. Thanks wow. for coming yeah. by. It's still down there. Look at it. Okay, it's Seems... so maybe not as big as I thought it was, but it's black and dark and ugly. And what about the spider? Here, look it. Uh, I you don't like look, spiders. You can look down there, too. <laughs> it's right here. It's on this bag. I know. Here it's here. on this bag. He's talking about the wart now. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, tell me it's dead on the bottom of my shoe. I don't know if it is. He's still talking about the wart. Where'd he go? <laughs> you should have shut this I'm off. I'm not kidding. Minutes I, ago. So I just literally had it. it. It looked. It was definitely one of those spiders that I bet would bite you. 
It wasn't a. It didn't look like a friendly one. It could have been one of those that Ooh. needed penicillin. Ooh, that was a little scary. Anyway, Antarctica, we're out. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, Johnny. Peace Don't out. Don't leave before we take a picture. Oh, yeah. Still need a cover photo. All right, Montartica.com, we're out.